What is going on everyone, it is Super here and I'm bringing you guys another Mortal Kombat X video and today we have the final character breakdown video from the Combat Pack number 2 gameplay trailer and who do we have here? We have Alien and I know a lot of you guys including myself are really excited to play as Alien and of course you know the Alien vs Predator matchup is a special video that I'm gonna do once Alien comes out you guys will see what I mean I did the same thing with Jason vs Predator uh, a while back and you know had a lot of fun making that video uh, but we have Alien here and let's get right into this so the first thing that I want to talk about in this video is pretty much saying that I was right that's right guys that's what I'm talking about I called it a while ago that it would be amazing and that I really believed that there was gonna be a queen variation of alien and I know I got so many comments in that video saying there's no way you know the queen alien is huge and she is um, but they don't have to make it a gigantic alien all they had to do was what they did uh, just make uh, you know the variation have like a queen style head and that's exactly what they did so pretty proud of that that i called it um but let's get into like uh specific things about the queen variation first and then we'll talk about the tarkatan one so uh the queen alien right on cue here as you guys see um she has the ability to place an egg on the stage and it has a blue circle around it and if your opponent crosses the blue circle or goes into the blue circle the egg hatches into a face hugger and the face hugger if your opponent is not blocking attaches itself to your opponent's face and it leaves your opponent in like a capture state so you could start a combo and you know the that's really cool by the way which i called that also or that was one of my wish lists for the uh you know alien queen variation to have like a face hugger that captures really really cool um but Another cool thing that happens right after the face hugger uh, hatches is something that caught me off guard, which is the queen variation actually gets to call another alien to assist her, which is fucking crazy, right? Like it looks like a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 assist. Um, the the way that they show it in the trailer, it's actually a meter burn move. I'm wondering if this is just a default uh the default like alien call is like really really slow and this one it looks like it's pretty fast like he starts the motion for like a call and then uh you know the the alien comes from the top it looks like the hit is going to be overhead i'm not sure if it's going to be that way it just looks that way because he comes from the top and of course the uh you know regular alien uh, comes down and it hits Jackie and it makes uh, it creates a bounce state and then in which the alien is able to then combo after that which is really cool man the um, queen variation looks like it's gonna be fucking awesome man uh, the only thing that I'm wondering is how long it actually takes for you to call the egg uh, to the stage and if it's gonna be able to be used in the middle of a combo or is it gonna be something like Tremor when uh, in his crystalline variation he actually uh, summons a you know crystal cube and you I believe you can't combo that it's too slow to actually you know start a combo call it and then keep going with the combo and you know use that in the combo I think it's too slow it might be that case for this variation but regardless really really cool man it's the variation that I'm looking forward to the most the queen variation looks sick um, one interesting thing that I did notice as well is that the queen variations neutral jump punch is you know the it's like a regular neutral jump punch it doesn't have the tar cotton blades and I believe that's the only variation that doesn't have the Tarkatan blades. And, you know, if you notice in... Now, I'll go into the Tarkatan variation now, I guess. The Tarkatan variation actually has the blades as a neutral jump punch. You guys could probably saw it during that clip right there. Um, let's see. Uh, he has a stab move like Predator. At some point, I think right here at the beginning... Um, he's going to do a stab move to Jackie, and it has like almost the exact same animation as the Predator uh, Centaur stab. Let's see, I think it might be this one right here. Yeah, right here. As you guys see, it has like almost the exact same animation as a Predator stab. I'm wondering if you meter burn that move, 
uh, if you're going to be able to create a bounce state to continue your combo just like the Predator. That might be something to definitely look out for. Uh, of course, the neutral jump punch. As you guys see right here, these, the Queen variation has a regular neutral jump punch. And up next in the clip that comes out after this, uh, you're going to see the Tarkatan variation neutral jump punch. And he has the blades, which obviously, you know, with the blades, you're going to have a lot more range. The neutral jump punch is going to be a lot better. As you guys, it, it looks like it has a lot of range. Um, so next up right here in this clip, something that I didn't notice is actually acid in the tip of the blades. If you guys notice, there's like green, uh, you know, at, at the tip of the blades. And I'm assuming that that's acid and it's going to do damage over time on some moves, just like Devora uh, in her um, Venomous variation. She has, um, you know, acid tips on her on her stingers and those do damage over time if you hit the opponent you know in a certain amount of time with the move that requires you to use the uh the stingers that have poison so that's gonna be really really cool um that that special move has a lot of attacks so i don't know if that's actually gonna be the case i'm just assuming because you know of the green at the end of the tip of the uh, of the blade and if it actually does damage over time, depending on how many hits you do, that's going to be crazy because that shit does so many hits. Um, other than that, uh, you know, that I think that's pretty much it, guys, as far as uh, Alien. I might have missed some things, but, you know, I think Alien is represented really well. He doesn't look like the traditional Alien, but, you know, they had to do it in the means of Mortal Kombat to make it fit into Mortal Kombat. So I hope you guys enjoy my alien breakdown video and I will see you guys next time.